Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is the word of the Lord for us today. They were sitting at the table of a local restaurant. There was lots of small talk when one of the people asked the pastor, Pastor, you stated once that you heard the screams of hell. Is that true? Right then, the pastor broke down in front of the people. It is true. Every time he prayed, he heard the screams. The reality was that this was never far from his mind. And it was the very thing that motivates him to tell others. No one has to go to that place. God has provided every means of escape possible. You see, God provided his son, Jesus Christ, on the cross. Jesus' body was broken and his blood was shed so that all man could be saved. The message of this wonderful truth is being preached everywhere on radio, TV, internet, and print. There is billions of testimonies of believers all around the world, yet daily hell is filling up with thousands of lost souls. People who made a decision to reject Jesus Christ. People who had given themselves over to satanic-inspired religions, people who believed the lies of evolution, the so-called higher and scientific reasoning. Hell is full of people who did not believe it existed or thought, well, they were smarter than God. Many do not even believe in hell or that it even exists. Yet this pastor hears their pain, their agony and screams every day. He did not wish it, or want it, but it is his reality. His only prayer was, Lord, give me a heart for souls and let them me feel their pain. The ultimate pain, of course, is separation from God. He is able to suppress it, this pastor is, and forget about it for a while. So it will not take over his life, but he feels it whenever he begins to pray. The Lord has let him understand the fight of the ages. It is why you and I must give our lives to Jesus Christ. This is the reason why the passion, the pastor was so passionate about telling others about Jesus Christ. Jesus did not die because he was wrongly accused or because he was a threat to a political system. Jesus died that all men might be saved and that none of them would have to go to a lost eternity. One day, hell will empty, but the destination for his inhabitants is the lake of fire, where the devil and demons and the false prophets and the Antichrist will, will end up. Everything has been done to keep mankind out of hell and the lake of fire, but the choice of eternity is in the hands of every individual person. All eternal life depends on where we want to spend eternity and what they do with Jesus Christ. The pastor's father, one biological and one stepfather, chose hell. Even though he warned them over and over again, he implores those who are reading this word or hearing this word to give their lives over to Jesus Christ. You see, the pastor who broke down that day is the same one who's talking to you today. He does not want you to he does not want to hear your screams or see you end up in hell. My name is Robert Dean Steele. You have yourself a godly day.